Do you have a podcast? Let me show you how to create an app for it. Hey, job farmers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And again, if you have a podcast, having an app specifically for your podcast is an excellent idea. So let me show you how with JotForm. I am currently just at jotform.com in my dashboard. In the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna head up to where it says My Forms. And we're gonna choose this. It's gonna have a drop down, and I'm gonna choose My Apps. From here, we're gonna click the purple Create App button in the top left. And now we have a four choices. If you know exactly how you want your app to look, you can always start from scratch. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how to utilize one of our templates for our podcast. So I'm gonna use the second one where it says use template. Then up at the top, I'm gonna to go ahead and search for podcast. And it looks like we have one. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this to preview it. And we can scroll right here. This looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Top right hand corner, we're gonna choose use template. Now, something to keep in mind is again, this is a template. We want to make this look completely our own. So let's say I'm gonna make this one look like ours for our JotForm podcast. So as we scroll, we can see that we have a couple of buttons. These look like potential page jumps. If you look down at the very bottom of the screen, we can see we have our home page, which is where we are now. We have listen, donate, and contact me. Then we have, looks like an image. We have a social bar, email, phone number, and here's where we can see this page break. Looks like this is where our official podcast is living. Donate, contact me. If we keep going down, we have what looks like a product list where people can donate to our podcast. And then we have a contact us page, which looks like a form. And that is it. So let's go to the top and let's make this fit JotForms branding or our own branding. So I guess first thing I'm gonna do is click on this blue paint roller in the top right corner. This is our app designer. This is where we can change all of the aesthetics. We can change exactly how it looks. So JotForms main color is a really deep blue. So I'm gonna choose a dark blue and we can kind of see what this looks like. Good deal. And then that's the start color. As you can see, it's an ombre effect. So we can go ahead and choose the end color. I'm gonna go ahead and choose blue also. Maybe we're gonna choose right over here. That looks good. Now, if we wanted to add a picture for the background, we could do that right here. And we can also change the font family. Let's say I would prefer the font to be, let's say Open Sans. Perfect. All right, we definitely need to make sure that this is white. White, and we can change this right here to Jot Forum Podcast. No, we can't see it now, but let's click the check mark. Jot Forum Podcast, perfect. So here we have an image. Again, if we click on the image, we can edit it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this image and I'm gonna add in our logo for the podcast. Good deal. So if we look at these two buttons, I am pretty sure we can see that it's navigating to a page. You can always create a button and have it go to different places. Maybe it's a URL outside of your app, maybe an email, maybe you want them to call you or you can have them open a form. So this one is having them navigate to different pages within our app. And this one I think is doing the exact same. Yep, perfect. And once you choose navigate to a page right down here, we get to choose where that goes to. So we're currently on donate. So we wanna make sure that the donate button goes to the donate page. So that's perfect. Let's check this one. This one goes to listen. This one goes to donate, perfect. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Next up we have our socials. We can edit those as well. Then we have what looks like a paragraph text again. We wanna change that to white so we can see that. And if we wanna edit the phone number, the email, you definitely wanna do that. By clicking done, perfect. Now let's head down to this next session so we can see that we are in the listen page. So this is where our podcast lives. So I'm gonna go ahead, looks like this one is an image. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this for now. And then this right here is, Looks like it's our Spotify widget. So let's say I go ahead and delete this. And let's say we're gonna start from scratch for that. Over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose add an element and then widgets. We can search for Spotify. Good deal. That is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and move it up to the top. And once you choose it, we're gonna click on the settings. And this is where we can edit it to be the JotForm podcast. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that link. I'm gonna paste it in here. And again, we wanna make sure that these buttons go to the correct place. So this one is currently on donate. 
This one is currently on contact me. Perfect. If we keep scrolling down, we can allow them to donate. So if I click on this, we can see that it is a product list and we can have these donations set up. So let's go ahead and edit these because we want to make sure we take these pictures off. Good deal. And for this up in the top, we see the green button where it says store settings. This is where we can link up our payment integration so that way we get paid. So we can see that it's currently with Stripe. If you prefer to not use Stripe, you can always trash this, add payment integration, and you can search for whatever it is that you would like to take payments through. Let's say I want to do Square. Good deal. And we can also turn on Apple, Google, and Cash App if we'd like. We'll go ahead and click save there. Perfect. And again, let's check to make sure these are going to the right places. Listen, contact me. Good deal. And then for this, the contact us, we can see that it's a form, but let's go ahead and trash this so we can start from scratch. So let's head back over to our basic widgets and we can see form right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag form in right on top and it's gonna ask us to choose which form we would like to add in here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this clear out one. It's just a basic contact form. I'm gonna go ahead and move it up here. Now, before that form was populated within the app. So right now, if they click on this, it's going to take them outside of the app to fill out. I want them to stay within the app. So if I click on this, I'm gonna choose the settings. And then right down here, it says show form. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And we can see that form is now populated within our app. And again, one last time, let's verify that these are going to the right places. Perfect. So if we X out of this and we click on the paint roller again for the app design, there's other things that we can play with in here. If you want to play with the app layouts, if you want them to all to be shrinked, no icons. If you want them to be left aligned, center aligned, you can always play with this as well. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of this. Let's take a look at the settings that we have for our app. So up at the top, the middle button settings. Right now we have the app as enabled. If you would like to disable your app at any time, you can come here and disable and we can also disable it on a specific date if you would like to. We we have continue forms later. We also have add a home screen mode now. So you'll see that in just a minute. Whenever someone opens up the app, it's going to ask them, do you want to add this app to your home screen, which is excellent. I love that. And then we also have a progress bar. If you want to edit your app name and the icon, we can do it here. So we can see right now it's called the podcast app. Let's go ahead and change this to the momentum podcast. And then right here we have the edit icon. So if we want to change this, we can do that. We can also search through our list of icons and there are a ton that you can look through. I'm good with this icon. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. And then we can also edit the splash screen. So if we check on this, I think I'm going to change this to be the blue color that we were working with earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and choose blue. We'll make this a darker blue. And for me, I can see that I can change the font color and I will want that to be white, but we can't change the color of that icon. So maybe instead of that dark blue, maybe we should go with the signature orange for jot form. So I think that is perfect here. So let's take a look at what this looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to publish. Let's open in a new tab. And here we go. And here is that splash screen I was talking about. So it's asking me, do you want to add this to your home screen? So we can either add to home screen or we can X out. So on a desktop, the pages that we can navigate through are in the top right hand corner right up here. Now, if your user is on a mobile, there will be a hamburger menu in the top left hand corner that they can click and drop down and navigate that way. But we can see here, this was all on one page. I can't scroll anymore like we did over in the build mode. But let's say I want to go to listen. I want to listen to this podcast. Here we go. Perfect. And maybe after listening, I want to donate to this podcast. I'm going to choose donate. Perfect. And let's say I want to contact them. Maybe I have a suggestion for a future episode. Contact me. Perfect. There we go. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing JotForm to create an app for your podcast, let us know and I'll see you next time.